Welcome back. It's time for us to talk entertainment. I have you with me, superstar, uh, perennial hit maker, dressed like a chief. Are you? Are you? Are you? A, are you a chief? Do you have a title? I'm not a chief. <laughs> <laughs> you are Ijo, right? Yeah, I'm Ijo from the Nigeria. You don't have any traditional title yet. No, Harry Song. You don't want Harry Song. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Song is everything. Are you Harry what? Song or Mr. Song? I'm Harry Song, aka Mr. Song. Okay. Why? Do, like, I was. I like, always thought you changed your name change at some point no, or something. No, change your name. Like I said, just the aka. <laughs> one title. How's it going, man? Been good, fantastic. Yeah. Um, work, 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 work. You know, it's a, uh, it's a old, it's like a whole new world. Yeah. You know, so with alter plates, it's 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 a lot of work. Yeah. Because of what uh, what is put together to make the company. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll get to that in a moment, but I want to talk. Yeah. You've been in you've been in music for quite a while. Now. Yep. Off and on, off and on, then on. Mm -hmm. When was the first time you made your foray into Nigerian music? Um, this is like it's like. Um, 13, yeah. 14 years ago, like yeah. when I, that's like officially when I came to Lagos, yeah. you know. And you're off shirts every time. Yes, OJ's night club. You don't understand. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's, Where were you before that? I was in Warrior, I was okay. in Delta State. Okay. You know, still doing music, you know, gospel music. I was a music director for 10 years in okay. Church of God Mission. You know, we're still doing music, releasing albums and singles in church, uh, doing concerts in Warrior around the Niger Delta before okay. I moved to Lagos. Okay. Yeah. You came to Lagos, it took you quite a bit. At what point did you know mm. it'd be like, say, so you don't have um, <laughs> At the acceptance, and started from I'm in Love. Okay. Uh, the first single under, like my second single under um, uh, Question Mark, okay. Kevin Luciano, was I'm in Love. After that, then the first uh, uh, official single under five star was um, um, uh, better picking better picking so it was from better picking that it's it, it, to yeah, different. it gave me the yes feeling of, okay bless it they don't chop out <laughs> yes so what did you think you did differently that um, made the difference i tried to balance because of my roots uh from the church as r&b jazz artist i tried to balance and not to be singing or writing selfishly on how i feel how i feel and how i want them to see me how i want them to see me i put myself in the shoes of the consumers I said, okay, this is what is happening. This is the sound. And the basic was Afrobeats, still Afrobeats. But I needed to do like infusion to balance it. And said, okay, this is what is going on right now. Let me put like 20% of me and give the 60% of them. And that's better picking. Okay. And it works for me. So do you, do you, people always say, oh, I'm not going to change my style. I need to stay true to my, to my, ident my identity, my, my whatever. Yes. Do you think you sold out maybe? Or you no, just sold out. Compromise? If it is business, then... You don't want to go to the market or to wherever you want to buy your goods, put them together and uh, buy them, put in the shop and begin to buy them again. Do you understand? You need to consider that this is business and you have people that want to come and buy these goods. You understand? They have different feelings. Just like when you're going to a show, you're paid for an event to go and perform. You are going there. People came from different places, different feelings. Some don't fight before they reach there. Some of them just break their heart. Some are coming very excited. Some want to just come and dance. Some just come and watch you. Some are coming because of you, particularly. And you have several other artists on that bill. So you need to consider that all these people are looking up to just you want to give a good performance. You know, so considering this fact, when you're writing your songs, you are singing, you're in the studio, you need to put these things into order because yeah. you want to sell to a lot of people, different people. Yeah. I asked that because, I mean, I had, I had a guest here last week, Imao Goli, who's been okay. in music for a long time. Yeah. And he understands what happens uh, behind yeah. the scenes. And we talked a lot about, you know, the yeah. following of trends, you know, okay. where there's a sound that's hot at the time and yes. everybody jumps on it. Yes. And it almost begins to look like there's only one genre of music in Nigeria these days. Yeah. If one is successful, everybody goes into goes it. Then. Now it seems to be the Al-Qaeda, sort of slow, yeah, bounce, yeah, nice. Yeah, yes. Don't you think that's a problem? Yes. It's not a problem. It's everywhere. It happens everywhere. Even, even, even in the other side of the world, it happens everywhere. If you have a sound, it's just that it's, 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 it's louder here in Nigeria. You have a sound that you have a meat temple sound that drops. The reggae blues drops now. Everybody follows Stradisco. You understand? Um, um, a reggaeton drops. Everybody follows reggaeton. Now it's an Afro bounce. Everybody follows just like that. It's, that it's, it's not a problem, but it's just knowing how to balance it. Some of us try as much as we can to still balance it. We do the same sound, but still infuse uh, one or two other uh, instruments to, yeah. to, to give it a balance. So, so what genre of music do you do? That's... Uh, Okay, <laughs> it's, it's high life infusion, okay. yes, but still with the feel of the Afro, Afro beat, so okay. it's high life. Looking at Nigerian music now, you said yes. 13 years ago, and what's happening now? I mean, yeah. there's a lot of, I, I look at you guys sometimes, I'm like, man, you guys are, yes. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a new artist every week who's hot yes. and doing amazing things. I mean, yes. this year alone, I can count off the top of my head about four who are doing great things who are not 
there last year. Yes. You know, yes. what's different now? Like, that, are you worried? Are you, I, you fear small? Like, when you look at the no, scene? No, no. I'm not, I'm, not, no, I'm not worried because I'm in the control room. Yes, I'm not worried. I'm in the control room because I, I um, when it comes to sound, to content providing, um, by the grace of God, I'm major on content providing in the industry. So okay. I, when they come out, when they come up like this and they do good, it's beautiful. But we know sometimes when they come up like this, we know, okay, this is, uh, this is a very beautiful sound. And after their second songs, we know uh, this is going to take a while or this is going to go out in the next uh, two months or two, three years. That's how it is. So it's, it's, it's good and healthy for the business as they're coming up every day and now and then and some of them are blowing, some of them are still there struggling. It's, 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 it feels like a competition. It helps the ones that have been there to work harder. That's why you see the, the older ones are upgrading. The older ones that are still relevant are upgrading and upgrading and following trend. Because sometimes they feel, if I don't follow this trend now, they will soon forget me. Do you understand? But most times when you follow the trend, don't follow the trend 100%. When you follow the trend, know that you've been there before and this is what is raining now. You need to have a balance of what is raining now and what you have been doing. That's, what, that's when you have a good balance. Yeah. Are, are you are you are you happy with lyrical content? I know I talked about, we talked about following trends initially, yes. which is which can be a good thing. I mean, if a sound is relevant at the time, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes. But the one thing I think even musicians themselves complain about is the fact that you, you listen to a song, yes. it's amazing. I mean, you go to the club, you jump to it, you go to a birthday <laughs> party, you are having a good time. Yes. But the entire song has about four four lines. Yes. Repeatedly, mm. and all of you, I think, <laughs> almost put an umbrella <laughs> over all of you are guilty of this. Of Why? This. It's it's sad, it's, it's confusing, and I don't know. Because sometimes the fans, they, they, they encourage these things. The, 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 the consumers, the fans, the people out there, they encourage these things. And after a while, when they've danced and danced the song, and they, start to, they, they, they start to criticize it. And say, you, you, but you are encouraging these this, this, this lines. This is what you need. You have too much going on. There's too much drama. You don't want to listen to love. You don't want to listen to this. You just want to dance. This is what is raining. And when they begin to give you those type of reasons that don't make sense, you enjoy it for like a while. You get tired. You start complaining. This Nigerian music is not making sense anymore. Okay, so it used to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? They come, so they encourage these things and let us start complaining. So the truth, the truth of the but matter... Sorry to cut you there. Does yes. this mean, do the fans dictate the sound yes. or do the artists dictate? Shouldn't the artists but, dictate what the... I mean, isn't it what you feed us that we, mm. that we take? Should we dictate what you feed us? No, sometimes it's even 60, 60, 40. <laughs> yes, sometimes it's even 60, 40. Because when you, that's why when you see, when you listen, when you see a musician that is doing a particular sound for like a while, like a while, a while, and people, and people just, and people, people love that sound and they are with that sound. So they, they just, they carve into that sound. When they want to do some certain kind of events, they say, oh, this type of, event let's bring this person for they want to do some kind of events that you as an artist you like to be on this or that <laughs> you will not call you because you just feel so okay, is it money then that is they the will not call you it's not just money it's the business perception acceptance and several other so things. what drives your own sound what what, what what influences your okay music but is it is it the the, the need to be loved by fans is it mm. the need to make money is it the need to express yourself okay in general in all these things put together i have said to myself from the day that i started the hustle and the business i said to myself i want to always pass out message and be a blessing sometimes positive message sometimes negative to whom it may concern but i want to always pass out a message and be a blessing if you listen to all the lyrics from Better Picking to I'm in Love to Reggae Blues to Baba for the Girls, they are they, through everyday living inspire my music. The way people live their life, complaints, good times, bad times, is working, is not working, is going to work, inspire me to become who I am today and will take me to where I'm going. So my, my, my lyrics are inspired by everyday living. People complain like Reggae Blues was inspired by someone else's relationship. You know, so different kind of things. Baba for the girls becomes a, a everyday talk like, Baba, this, this is about for the girls, this is about for the girls. So basically, it's everyday life that inspires my music. Great to know. Yeah. Let's, let's go a little bit personal now and uh, talk about your relationship with, with Five Star Music and Casey in particular. You guys were inseparable at a point. Yes. We started hearing stories about, you know, not even talk again. We heard about fights. Yes. What happened? Yes. 